Can I get a print from that right now? How? Oh, I'm not going to take some evidence. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> need for that is a portable printer with a battery. Right. And if you had one, you could make a print right now. Right, and I don't have one. That's what I teach my students how to make money with the camera. Where? Wherever I sit. Oh. So you still teach right here? I teach wherever I sit or stand. Well, I show them the principle of the camera that they're using and how to uh, approach people or how people approach them and what to say to them to get their confidence that they are a good photographer, that they can take a good picture of them. That's the most important thing. Each person that is being photographed wants a good likeness of themselves. You know, composition, exposure, all that you gotta learn as you go along. All these people. I the know students. There were so many speed graphic photographers out there. Uh -huh. I know it's all this. Wonderful. He has taken care of his legacy. He has started a movement. He's certainly an ambassador for an era of photography that's, thank God, is still with us. And it, it takes a lot of, um, it does take a lot of fortitude to be able to handle one of those cameras. Nowadays, in an era where everybody's got a phone and everything, you know. I had no idea that so many people wanted to learn photography from me. But with this camera that I'm using, it's so old, and all the young people that I'm attracting is just phenomenal. Well, I met him in front of BNH. At first, I saw him on YouTube. And, uh, I was watching like people who shoot like four by five, large format on the street. And then I looked on YouTube and I found his video, and I was like, "Oh man, this guy's in New York." So one time I come in New York, I have my four by five, and then I was like, "Hey, I think I'm around BNH." So I'm like, "Let me turn the corner." I said, "BNH must be around here." So when I went the around the corner, I saw this guy standing there with a camera. I was like, "Hold on, that's the guy from YouTube." So I was like, "Oh, this is another crazy guy." Like. <laughs> the biggest challenge is the fear of talking to other people about having a picture taken. People are just frightened to talk to each other. And I find that more with the young people than, than with the old people. I used to carry $5,000 worth of digital equipment and people would turn their nose up to me. Now that I have the speed graphic, people come to me and talk to me. I left one career to join this career, and this career lasts a lifetime. And yes, it is all Luis Mendez's fault. Well, I told them that if they have a goal, try to accomplish that goal by sticking to their, you know, their path. If you don't stick to it, you never know the end results. I've stuck to this camera for 60 years. I had no idea I'll stick with it this long, but every time I take a picture, that's one more day success. The main thing I want my students to learn from me is how to interact with people and get the money out of their pocket into yours. I never had experience doing it. I'm just going to learn as I go. I feel good about it. I got things to tell them, and I want them to listen and absorb some things I say and, you know, adopt it, because that'll put money in their pocket. The older I get, the long I want to live. The goal is to have 100 students before I die.